What's up, my name is Jay, and in this video, I wanna show you how you can use NPM and what is it. If you go to npmjs.com, you will see this page. And um, here's a little bit of, uh, you know, a very quick description about NPM. NPM is a node package manager, okay? So short description is reusable code, like people around the world are creating these packages full of cool code that you can use for your project. Before we start using NPM, we're gonna need Node.js because NPM comes with Node.js and that's why it's called Node Package Manager. So if you go to nodejs.org, make sure you go scroll it a bit and then you will see um, some buttons that you can download and then after that you can install a Node in your computer. After Node is installed completely in your computer, please go ahead and open your command line, all right? And I want you to write node-v, hit enter. All right, and if you see this, like a version, um, that means that you have node in your computer and they are showing you the version. After that, let's make sure that we have NPM. So let's do the same thing, but with NPM-v, hit enter. Same thing, if you see a version right here, that's because you have NPM in your computer and you're good to go. Perfect, so let's clear these out. All right, so now I'm gonna minimize this. Let's go here uh, for a minute. I have an index.html file, it's empty. The only thing I'm doing is requesting this main.js file, which is right here, it's totally empty. So let's start playing with it. Let's create a variable here called my date. And it's gonna be equal to today's date. So let's do new date. And this is gonna give us like today's date, like right now. So let's console log, let's make sure this is working. Save it. Let's go, this is my page, which is totally empty. Let's reload the page. Perfect, it's working. It says um, my date is right here. Now, I do not like this format. I wanna change it. So I'm gonna use one of these node modules. So let's go back here. And it's called moment, this is my favorite. Like if, if I wanna format, and I want something very, very easy to read, like a very easy to read date. Moment is my favorite, so I'm just gonna click here. And here you can see it says install, and it, the only thing that it's telling you is npm i moment. The i is for install. All right, so that's all we need if we want to use this. So let's go to the command line again. And before we get started and you know, we start installing all these modules or packages, let's make sure that we are in the correct folder, which I am not. So write down CD space, go ahead, find the folder of your project, drag and drop it. All right, and here we'll see the path to that folder. Mine is correct, I'm gonna hit enter. And now you're inside your folder. If you wanna make sure you can write LS, hit enter and it will show you a list of all the files inside that folder. That way you know you are in the correct folder, okay? All right, I'm gonna kill, clear this, perfect. Now the first thing I wanna do is this. Write down npm in it. Hit enter. All right, and now this is gonna create a very important file for your project and it's gonna start asking you some questions like your package name. All right, I'm gonna hit enter. The version, I'm gonna hit enter. Description, I'm just gonna hit enter to everything because I don't wanna spend time like um, writing all this down. But if you're serious and you're creating like a the very, very good project, a project that you're gonna share with the world, make sure you put this down. All right, I'm good with that, yes. Hit enter. Okay, and now if you go back to your project, you will see this new file called package.json, all right? This file will have everything um, for this project, okay? 
So make sure you have this there. That's very important. And now we are ready to actually use NPM. So let's go ahead. Let's go back here. Let me clear this out. All right. I'm going to just copy. Let's go back. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to hit enter. All right, cool. If you see these warnings, don't worry about it. It's because I didn't put in my description and um, you know, there's a lot of empty fields. All right, so that's not a problem. So moment, if you go back, you will see now node modules. And if you open that, you will see moment here, which is what we want. Do not worry about node modules right now if you don't understand it. There is a link in the description if you want to learn more about them, but you don't have to worry about this folder right now. There is another file right now. It's called packet lock JSON, .json. And this file is important because this is the one that's telling every single detail about everything that you're installing. So if you install moment, J, moment um, they're telling you the version and all the details about that package, okay? You don't have to worry about that file right now, but it's important that you have it there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to moment.js and see the documentation and see how we can use it. All right, so let's go here. Let me open this a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna click docs, where to use it. And it says no.js, perfect. That's what, that's what we did and what we're using. And here they'll tell you what you need to do. So we need to add this, create a variable with the require moment. So let's do that. Let's do it up here. All right, cool. I'm gonna save it. And now they're telling us to use this like moment format. All right. So after my date is my variable date is created, I'm just gonna put down here and create a new variable. Let's call it my cool date equals to moment. And inside moment, we're gonna put the date. And then we need to put whatever format we want. So let's go back to the website to moment here. And I want to see what formats. So we have all these formats, look, and they're telling us, let me open this a little bit more. They're showing us all the formats, every single one. So let's use something like this. I like this one. It's very clean. People can understand. It's just like a double uppercase LL. So let's do it. Let's save it. And let's console log my cool date. All right, let's do this. Let's reload the page. Uh, yes, so now we have an error here. It's saying um, require is not defined. So this require right here, um, the browser doesn't understand what is it, like what is require. So if you're a beginner, um, Node.js is a server side um, technology. So right now we're using all this in our browser and it's not going to work. So for that, we need something that is going to get our main JS, get every, all the code that we have here, bundle, create a bundle. That way the browser can understand. We can use something called Browserify, which I like a lot. Um, you can use um, something called Webpack too which I love, but for now, we're gonna use Browserify. It's very easy to do it right now. And you can see that it's telling us Browserify lets you require modules in the browser. And um, all we need to do is install this, right? And it's using NPM. So let's go ahead and copy, open the command line again, paste it. All right, so now um, Browserify is available for us and we can use it. So let's close this and um, let's go ahead and, 
and um, scroll a little bit down. So here you can see how we can get our JS file and create a bundle that we can actually use. So let's copy this. Let's go here to our command line and let's paste it. Um, my file is called main.js, but if yours is called something else, just change it. And that's it, all, that's all you need to do. And it doesn't have to be bundle.js, it can be something else. So let's hit enter. All right, and let's go back and see if Browserify created a bundle and yep. Here's a new file, click on it. And you will see a bunch of code here, okay? So you can see that we have all the things that we created and then we have all the code for moment and we're gonna have here the code for everything. All right, so all I'm gonna do is go to my in index.html. I'm gonna go and change it to bundle.js. Okay, now let's reload. And now take a look, now it's actually working. The browser understand our code. And now it's like September 23rd, 2018. Looks a beautiful, perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and install this unique one. All right, so let's go ahead, npm. Let me clear this. Okay, so npm install unique. Perfect, now we have that available for us. So let's go, the same thing is gonna be a require here. I'm gonna put it here after the after moment. And they're giving us an example here from an array. So what unique is gonna do for us is that if we have a list, if we have an array and um, we have a lot of things there and we have a lot, of, a lot of numbers or strings that are, are the same and we don't want to, we can use unique. So let's do something very, very quick here. So the variable equals my list equals to this an array. This is one, two, one, one, one. Let's say for example, we're repeating a lot of ones that we do not want. So three, three, four, five, six, and then another four, another four, and seven. This is a quick example that, that we have a lot of numbers here that we do not want, All right? And now what we can do is, I'm gonna put my unique list equals to, is gonna be unique, and then inside unique, I'm gonna just put my list, which is all this. All right, and I'm gonna console log my unique list. And let's see if this works. So I'm gonna save it. And now we need to go again, which is um, something that I don't wanna do. You can actually automate this instead of doing it manually, but for now I'm doing it manually. Every time you save this JS file, you have to go to your command line and make sure you run this. That way, this bundle JS get created again with your new code. Now you don't have to do it manually, you can use um, a lot of things to automate this. That way, every time you save this file is done automatically, okay? I'm gonna hit enter, perfect. And now let's reload this page. All right, and now we have an array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see that we do not have all this um, ones and this extra three and this extra fours, we don't have them. So that's the cool thing about all this um, packages and known modules that you can use for your project. And that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.